Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We always had concerns about the number of VLS or missiles that Indian Navy warship can carry and seems like Indian Navy's warship design bureau has taken it seriously. Recently they have released a video showcasing next generation combat management system. If you have seen the video which we have shared earlier you can notice that eight cell VLS arranged in 3x3 configuration which means there are total 72 VLS in the front. What is not clear is the number of VLS at aft. The warship is shown mostly from front where the VLS farm at the front seems to be more than the one at the aft. However, if both are same, the destroyer will have 144 VLS in total. But if the VLS at aft is smaller than the one in front, it will have 48 VLS and in total the number of VLS will be 120. There are 8 slant launchers as well. So in my opinion from what it seems it is going to be 120 VLS plus 8 slant launchers. The VLS also seems to be a UVLS that is universal vertical launch system being developed by DRDO. The another key takeaway from the video is the network centric warfare and the communication between the warships which could also be sharing of threat information. This is following the 3C principle which is command, control and communication which forms the backbone of integrated combat system. The design caters for optimal interoperability targeting manned unmanned teaming operations in an ever evolving new age warfare. The next generation stealth destroyer will be developed under project 18 which is going to be upscaled version of project 15B class destroyer. It will be a stealth guided missile destroyers having displacement of nearly 13,000 ton. The Indian Navy has planned to build six such destroyers picked at Rs 50,000 crore. Musgaon Dock Limited is the only shipyard which is capable of building destroyers and is at present constructing Vishakhapatnam class destroyers whose development is expected to be complete by 2025. At present, four destroyers of this class is planned out of which INS Visakhapatnam is already commissioned, Murmugao is under sea trials and Imphal and Surat has already been launched. The Murmugao is expected to be commissioned this year and Imphal in 2023 and Surat in 2024. It is expected that the post the construction of these destroyers, that is after 2024, the construction of Project 18 class destroyers will commence. The most noticeable change in Project 18 class destroyers is going to be their radars. In almost all the latest naval warship, we can see Israel's MF Star mast mounted radar. This will be likely to be replaced with DRDO's long range multifunction radar LR MFR. The INS Anvesh, a technology demonstration vehicle, is being built by DRDO at Cochin Shipyard Limited and has been fitted with the housing of a new type of dual panel long range radar system by LRD called Long Range Multifunctional Radar. It is an active phased array radar with a range more than 500 km and features octagonal face plates that are approximately 5.5 to 6 meter in diameter. Therefore, instead of mast mount radars, NGD may feature a multi phased active phased array radar based on LR MFR. The NGD will require two types of main APR radars, one for short wavelength and another one for longer wavelength. LRMFR will perform the role of tracking targets to fire control of SAMs and BMDs. The NGD will feature Hamsa NG, a third generation ship borne hull mounted sonar system developed by DRDO and produced by PEL. The next generation destroyer will be built to fire arrays of indigenous weapons for anti-surface, anti-submarine and land attack roles. With 128 VLS, the warship will have a massive firepower. The key weapons of the destroyer will be Brahmos missile, Brahmos NG, LRSAM ER, Nirbhay or ITCM LSEM, MRSAM, XRSAM, VLSRSAM and AED. The destroyer will be equipped with lighter version of smart anti-submarine warfare missiles for taking out enemy submarines and advanced torpedo decoy system. The missile has a range of 643 km carrying a light torpedo of range 20 km and 50 kg of high explosive warhead. 
the 533 mm varunastra is likely to be the main torpedo armament the ngd may also feature a uvls that is universal vls which will eliminate the need for multiple missile launchers it will feature a 127 mm main naval gun and 376 mm super rapid guns navy has even planned to integrate du that is direct energy weapons DIDO is in process of developing 100 kilowatt du called Durga 2. PSU has also developed a 25 kilowatt du that can neutralize a ballistic missile at a range of 5 kilometers. BEL is already producing the laser dazzlers for Indian Navy warship. The du to be used in NGD may be a version of 100 kilowatt du being developed by DIDO. The du will be used as a close in weapon system and may complement or supplement the traditional CIWS. DIDO is also working on electromagnetic railgun. It has already developed 10 megajoule railgun and 100 megajoule capacitor based railgun is under development which could be possibly integrated with warship and could replace the naval guns. The NGD will have a huge power requirement due to its larger size and massive radars and possible integration of DUs and railguns. The huge power requirement could be met with the help of integrated electric propulsion which is the future of propulsion in warship. The IEP eliminates the need for clutches and gearboxes by using electrical transmission rather than mechanical transmission of energy making the warship easy to maintain, silent and stealthier. LNT and DIDO is working on DIDO's already launched program which is called gas turbine enabling technology for developing the marine propulsion the plant gas turbine will deliver up to 36 megawatt and destroyer may have two of these to deliver a power of 72 megawatt in a configuration with two diesel generators of 10 megawatt each and two electric propulsion motors of 20 megawatt the tata advanced systems limited which has designed platform bridge and combat management system in past will work on the diesel generators and motors this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector